My name is Ingrid Schulström and I'm Head of Corporate Social Responsibility at H&M. Apart from the human rights and the labour conditions that we monitor in our suppliers factories, of course environment is also quite important. And that could be anything from our stores, uh, transport, energy consumption, uh, waste management and of course also very much focus on the supply chain and uh, the impact that the production of our garments have, have also on the environment. We have a code of conduct that is a number of requirements that we have on our suppliers on, for example, the external environment. During our audits, we also have one part that's really focusing on the environment. For example, water treatment, chemical handling, waste management and so on. In the supply chain, we know that the major environmental impact is really in the processes where fabric is dyed or where there is any wet processes involved. And the treatment of wastewater going out of there is probably one of the key issues for us. So the water going out of the factory is clean before it goes out to the river. But also other types of waste from the factory. Whatever it is, it has to be taken care of also in an appropriate way. Other issues that are important in the factories are, for example, the chemical handling, making sure that what types of chemicals are used and cannot be used, how they are stored, how they are handled in a safe way. My name is Elin Robling. I work as a quality assurance manager at the Shanghai Production Office. And I also have the global responsibility for H&M chemical restrictions. It's an important part of the H&M environmental work to limit the use of chemicals that might have a negative impact on environment or consumers' health. There is also another positive impact of the chemical restrictions and that is the safety for the workers in the, in the factories producing our garments. The list includes several hundreds of substances. Some of the chemicals is not really relevant for our consumers but are very dangerous for the factory workers and they can be cancerogenic or harmful for the neurological system and that's why we have them on our list. To uh, ensure that the, our suppliers comply with the chemical restrictions, first of all they need to uh, sign the chemical restrictions compliance commitment where they agree to comply with the restrictions. We are also doing uh, auditing at dyeing mills together with our suppliers where we check that the chemicals are okay according to the H&M requirements. We are doing a lot of following up, we are educating our suppliers, we are also testing a lot of production samples. Should we find something in our products, we can uh, and will cancel and stop that product. But the most common question is probably about cotton, which is the main raw material used in our garments. My name is Silvia Sevinik Özdeğit. I'm responsible from organic project in Turkey. Turkey is one of the biggest organic produced country in the world. Starting from 2004, H&M has been using organic cotton, 5% uh, in our children and baby garments. 2007, we have started to do 100% organic cotton collections. Organic explained how the cotton is grown uh, in the field 
uh, meaning that there is no pesticides and uh, synthetic fertilizers during the uh, growth of cotton. The farmer is following the restricted list and using less harmful and hazardous chemicals and natural fertilizers. H&M works with the spinners who has certificates. Spinner has to follow certain rules. Starting from the fiber storage until the yarn storage, everything must be specially stored, marked and labeled so that everyone can see uh, the organic uh, cotton production easily and separately. There is no confusion in the production. And we make sure that the fiber and the yarn we use in our products are 100% organic. I think it is well received by the customer. They like our collection, the, the, there is a big demand. And I hope that this will continue uh, with the bigger demands and uh, we continue as well. We feel that it's important for us to take responsibility that the environment is not polluted in the countries where our garments are produced. This is very much in line with the company values and we feel very strongly that we also have to take this voluntary responsibility for, for our suppliers and how our garments are being produced.